It's your time. It's his time. It's time. It's time to shine. My face look a little look like super shiny. I just moisturized my face. Just hopped out the shower. Just got out of 10 a.m. practice, bro. Ugh, I'm tired as hell, bro. Got work. Then 10 a.m. practice. Now I'm up here doing this, man. About to go to the mall to get a quick sell on cologne, but I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. So, anyway, check this out. So, we got another court video. It's called Entitled Mom. I think it's gonna be a good one. It's 11 minutes long, so I ain't gonna do too much stopping and pausing. But then again, I'm always gonna get my opinion because it's a reaction video. You know, we like to react to these court videos, these real life situation type of videos. You know, y'all been rocking with them. I've been rocking with them. You know, personally, I enjoy doing it. You know, so without further ado, let's get straight to the video. If you are new, Stay here and see if you like the channel. If not, let's go. It's called Entitled Mom, so let's see what they're talking about. Oh, shit. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Let's go. Lopez, yes, ma'am. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? Judge, um, I have a really great daughter. However, we have a kind of... Oh, so she's the mom. Okay. Um, my daughter seems to be so busy sometimes that I think she knows she's a mom, but she kind of has other responsibilities that she's kind of putting in the forefront of everything. And so it's, the last two years, it's kind of gotten difficult for me. We have one baby girl. Her name is London, and uh, she's almost two. Entitled uh, mom. Though. She titled it entitled mom. Work. So the mom, the, uh, mom it must be at fault. You know, everything else that she wants to be. And mm -hmm. so it's just got to a point where it's kind of ridiculous because I need some assistance. Oh, it's probably called Entitled Mom. Her daughter is a mom. So I'm thinking she's talking about, okay. And I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm not getting it. Okay. All right. And do you pay health insurance for the child? Um, she is on Medicaid right now because we qualify for Medicaid. Damn, um, that's two back-to-back -back videos where the mom ain't being a mom. Okay. Anything else you want me to know before I move over to her? Um, that's pretty much the brunt of it. So I'll let her speak her piece and see if we can maybe find a resolution. Okay, okay. And I like how she came in. She didn't come in trying to, sh sh with shots fired and stuff. The fact that she's even in there, you know what I mean? It's probably like, damn, like, why we even got to be in here? The fact that it's even at this degree is crazy. But the fact that she kind of came in, just wrote, read her piece, I think she's talking about, you know, she has more priorities other than being a mom and stuff like that. So the fact that she, the, 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 the mom came in, the mom of the mom pretty much came in here trying to she see what she said hopefully you know she could say her piece and hopefully we could find some type of resolution you know she came in there with a positive mindset from the get-go so i am a full-time student college student mm -hmm. okay um so okay. i'm spending most of my times you know uh at nights going to school mm -hmm. but on top of that i, I also work mm -hmm. for the university during the day mm -hmm. what do you do that's difficult um, i'm actually an intern full-time intern for the psychology program it's difficult so, for sure is that a paid position yes yes it is okay how much are you paid well i just got a promotion um that's to good that's good thousand. okay yeah. hold on how much hold on. i just got a promotion um that's good fifty thousand that's okay. good i just feel like i work you know all okay. day i go to school at nights so i don't graduation that's very good work all day. Yeah, I don't go, I don't get home until like midnight and I mean, I don't really see why it's a problem that my mother, you know, the grandmother of my child. No, don't do that. Now, see, you were doing good until you did that. Yes, it shouldn't be a problem that your that the grandma should be able to look after the, your child. There should not be a problem. But at the same time, you have to make sacrifices for your you might not be able to be a full-time student. The fact that you are a mom, you know, we're going to hear, I don't know where the dad is, what the dad's doing, but you have to make sacrifices. You might not be able to be a full-time student if, if, if you haven't worked out that schedule, you know what I'm saying? Like the dad got to chip in, like, you got to talk to the dad, I'm trying to do this, don't do that, y'all got to come to certain grounds. Well, because I'm not the one that got pregnant on prom night. You wouldn't be having this problem. Okay. Shit, but never mind. She came for the throat. She said, I'm not the one who got pregnant on prom night. You wouldn't be having this problem. That's a little bit below the belt. I ain't gonna lie. It's about to get hectic. Okay, but you're my mother, 
Right. Uh, so I had you always said child. you wanted a grandchild, didn't you? I had you? one child, yes. I wanted a grandchild, but it would have been nice if you would have got married first and had someone to share the responsibility with, not me. Oh, you know, oh. I, can't, I can't do it by myself, though. I'm You're not doing it by use, yourself. I'm trying to use that money, right, so that way I can pay for my tuition for college. Well, I can appreciate that, honey, but you know what? Your responsibility, your main responsibility is being a mom. It is. I agree with your mom. This is your child, and you said something very key while you were talking. You said grandmother. You're her child. Her mother. She raised you. That's what I'm not saying. You have to. Where's the dad at? Where's the dad? What's the... Where's the dad? Not her responsibility to raise your child. Right. It is your responsibility. I just, I just feel like I don't really have to owe her anything. Why? You don't feel like you should pay your mother if your if your your daughter were going to daycare, mm -hmm. you would be paying the daycare, right? Yes, yes. or no? Yes, ma'am. Do you feel like they should be paid? Yes. Yes. They're taking care of your child, looking after your child. I see why it's called entitled mom now. Changing diapers, feeding, they should be paid, right? Right. Your mother is doing everything I just named, correct? So it logically follows that she should be paid too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What's your yeah. Issue? Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Before you do any holiday shopping this year, come on, man. Really I'm gonna show you one simple trick. Let's. I want to see where the dad is at. Well, she uses her money for the school loans, and I can appreciate that she doesn't want to have school debt. Right. But yeah. I respect that. She's, she's money, a hard worker. She's, she's gotta get the priority straight. They live with me. I have, the house is paid. We don't have that that bill so she i know she wants to be responsible and not have any debt but you know mommy doesn't need to be having no debt and worried about diapers and all that too and she does try to help but it's just not enough and now that she's got a promotion i feel like she needs to take a little bit more responsibility i've done everything i can sweetie and listen you know that i'm a double major right i know that sweetheart but like i said I can't london is important that. too so, I know she is. That's why I leave her with you. Mm -hmm. Well, just like I did a good job with raising you. I leave you. her with you. She's just saying some dumbass shit. What the? F what made you think that that was a good thing to? That was the stupidest shit that you could have possibly said. That was stupid. And granted, you should be able to live your life, but you gotta understand your kid comes first. So with that being said, if you can't be, a, you have to understand you could be a student, maybe not a full time student. You know what I'm saying? I wish the dad was... Because it don't sound like the dad is involved at all. It don't sound like he's involved. It sounds like he's a deadbeat. You know what I'm saying? His time is going to come. It sounds like he didn't take care of his responsibility. It just sounds... It's just, it's just very sad. You leave your child with your mother and do not believe that your mother should receive some sort of financial assistance. I feel like I give something back by being in school. You know? Once what? I do get that, that education... What are you that giving degree? back by being in school? I'm giving her. What are your plans after school? <laughs> well, I'm majoring also in psychology, so okay. I planned on opening my own clinic. Okay. Doing a That's good. That's big. And then from there, I could, you know, take care of my own daughter by then. And just right now, and he's move out. And move out. Yeah. What about yeah. your mom? And, and your mom still takes care of the baby. No, I can take care of the baby. By what then. about? I just need a little bit of help. You can assistance. take care of the baby by yourself now. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Judge. So, I'm still not hearing what your issue is. My issue is just... Because she's your mom, you don't believe you need to pay her something. Entitlement. Entitlement. That's what I thought. That's what you thought. You really don't live there. You're just going to sleep. Mom is taking care of the baby. You'd agree with me. Granted, if I had my brother have a kid... Him and his wife or whatever they want to use me as a babysitter they don't have to pay me but if you're taking advantage and thinking that i'm just because that's my nephew or my niece that i'm like obviously i'm going to make sure that they're straight period but the, if you're taking advantage because people are so entitled people you're taking advantage you're constantly the, the bro the child does the child probably thinks that the grandma is his the, the child is being raised by the grandma it's that entitlement thing. We got to get out of everybody. This family thing, this blood thing. We got to get out of that, bro. You're coming in at midnight. The baby is with your mom all, all day. All day. Probably sleep. She tuck her in and all type of stuff. to the house. 
not seeing the baby because if it's at midnight, the baby is the baby's the most baby. likely sleep or maybe up day. crying. I you I never know. I took her in. I took her in. That's not enough. In, so you just pull the covers over a little higher. I can't her kiss her tonight. <laughs> She's already tucked in, so you just pull the covers a little higher. Just to play you wake up the baby I, at I mean, midnight. Just so I can give her a kiss, you know, read her a little story so that way there's I'm not mad at that. between us since I do work. I'm not mad at know, that. All night long. Nothing and wrong with that. Go to school and Might be tough putting her back to sleep, though. Well, that's nice. But what's going to be nicer is you're going to give your mother some of that money for taking care of your child. Because she is putting the bill she's taking care of everything plus her, she got her own stuff she got to take care of technically you're not even living with her you're only staying there at night for a couple of hours and the baby is with your mom all now, day assuming, this happens on the weekends too no on the weekends she does stay home and you know she does help and like i said she's like that no she's like not like the girl that girl that goes clubbing and stuff okay she's cool that see that's what i'm saying like I like how she came. She did have that one moment where she said, "Well, I'm not the one who got pregnant." Like she, she came for her on that one. I, she she had that little spark. But that's what I'm saying. She coming here like no, no, no. She's giving the credit that she does do. She's talking about what she like. She came here trying to get a like to resolve the matter. You get what I mean? Rather than to make it super big. Just her job and school, and now she's gonna work full time. Now she's gonna be working more with the promotion. Right. So, promotion. you know that kind of leaves us. With a little extra money and no time. Because we hardly had any time now. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like now that she's going full time. Money does not equate to time. Hi, dropshippers. It's time to focus on what you do best. So go to Wix.com. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start your child support. So you can at least give mom some sort of assistance. Now, at the time that you move out of the house and you have the child... On your own, 100%. Mom is not babysitting. Mom is not, well, not even babysitting. <laughs> the child is living with your mom. Okay. If the child is no longer living with your mom, your daughter is with you 100% of the time, then you can come back and see me to stop child support at that time. Okay. But Damn, until that happens, mom is going to... Y'all could have resolved this without even going to court. Um, break, essentially, right. until that time happens. So... It's going to be based off your income, and you just said that you make $50,000 a year now. So at $50,000 a year, that brings your gross to $4,167. <clears throat> net is $3,516.78. There is a reimbursement to Medicaid. Now, you are working full-time. You have access to health insurance now? Yes. Yeah. Do you know how much it'll cost? Um, the health insurance, uh, that shit is I, expensive. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, this is what we're going to do. Because Medicaid reimbursement is about $375. That's based on 9% of your gross. Okay. I'm pretty sure your health insurance is cheaper than that for your daughter only. So what okay. I'll do is order you to be responsible for that health insurance and give you a credit of $100 towards the health insurance, okay? So that'll make your monthly child support obligation eight hundred and three dollars. Damn. To your mother. Damn. Damn. Sorry, baby. You gotta learn. Sorry, baby. You gotta learn. Any questions? Damn. No questions. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. You're welcome. If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. You're welcome. Damn. They gonna hug it out? Hi guys, it's me, Judge Wanda B. I wanted to go over what you all witnessed in the Lopez case. This was a very unique case. There was... Yeah, I watched that on my own. But anyways, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. What y'all think? Y'all think that she shouldn't have had to pay that or she should have? Because I think the title, Entitled Mom, is like she's spot on with these titles, man. I ain't gonna lie. She's very spot on. Because me personally, you can't take like... like that's why you got to understand, like, when you are in that position and you understand, like, you can't do everything you might want to do, it do come with, it does come with, like, sacrifice. You can do certain things, but you just probably can't do everything full time. You get what I mean? But cause once you get, once the child get older, start going to daycare, start doing this, start going to school more, start, you know, field trips, overnight stuff, like, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to expand. It's just a matter of patience. That's all it is, man. But anyways, if y'all like this video... 
Show me some love by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 450 subscribers. We're at 447. Let's keep growing, you know? Rest in peace, Dakari. Rest in peace, X. Peace, my grandma, both our grandmas, and I'm out.